I started with a Canon 5D converted to infrared by Life Pixel. They did a really great job. And I decided to convert a Fuji X Pro one. I decided to do it alone uh, for a simple reason. It's taxes. In Italy, if you use Life Pixel, it must pass the customs a couple of times and they will make you pay the taxes also on the camera as it was a new value so basically a process that cost $200 uh, for me was something that risked to cost uh, six seven hundred dollars so I decided to give a try by myself the filter I bought it in Italy and you will have the link to every supplier in the article few things that I want to tell you first of all if you have a professional doing it give it to the professional it's not really easy the process you see here in few minutes it lasted three weeks and I had to take the measures of the hot mirror and everything because I had to ask for the filter cut uh, precisely for my camera so few things I learned during this First of all, use this trick. I learned the trick by from um, Wheeler Dealer, the TV show about the cars, where a China, the mechanic, was using it for uh, bolts from uh, an engine. And the idea is, take a piece of paper, draw um, the element that you are working on, so draw the camera or something that let you understand what you are talking about, number the piece of papers and every time you take off a, a screw from the camera you insert it in the piece of paper so you will know exactly where the determinate screw will go back when you put everything in you put the piece of papers in a box and you don't risk to lose the screws this is the first thing the second is to look online for the manual that is used by the repair service of your camera you will have uh, a lot of tricks in that that are very very useful the other thing remember be clean um, you don't have probably a place that is with no dust at all so clean everything wait a very humid day so the dust will not go around and when you arrive at the sensor take off the sensor put it in a plastic bag i use the plastic bag um, made for refrigerating food so you're sure that it is really clean and don't take it off until you remount the camera when you have something has uh, holes in front of the viewfinder or similar put some tape so the dust will not get in the process is long, if you are precise, it's very easy. You have to use the solder a couple of times, um, but it's, uh, it's doable. Did I have fun doing it? Yes, a lot. Uh, I also changed the skin of the camera. I put beautiful red uh, just to have something different. It was fun. Uh, I dreamed to do it on a X Pro 2, but I will wait the price to go down and by the way i love fuji the x pro one is really a great camera i would love to have an x pro 2 but for now i have an x pro one converted and one uh, that is for normal photography i love them both it's easy you can bring it around on no weight and the quality of the pictures is great here you will see some picture of the final result of my conversion and if you have any questions just write me.